Can you hear me, Gordon? Loud and clear. I found some footprints. Based on the size and depth of the depressions, I'd estimate our monster is weighing more than 300 pounds. The trail's heading east. Stand by. I'm following the old 10th Street subway line. Just coming upon one of Gotham's celebrated ghost stations. The Bat. You're supposed to be up in the sky. Why underground? You break your wings? I'm looking for a monster. <laughs> we all monsters here. This one's different. A predator. Eh, uh, kill a croc. They say his mama didn't want him, flushed him into the sewers. All that toxic waste down here done turned him, made him strong. Which way? He gone down the coffin road. Hey, Pat, when you're flying, what the city look like from up on high? It looks dirty. I'm in some kind of old railway. There are coffins everywhere. It used to be a pneumatic system linking all of Gotham's cemeteries. They used it to transport the dead. There's methane in here. I'm switching to air assist. Got a lead on your killer croc. His name's Waylon Jones. He was an inmate at Arkham Asylum and a former test subject in Dr. Crane's fear aversion therapy program. Which means he's twice as twisted now that Crane's had a go at him. Jones was a former circus sideshow freak. Suffers from a rare skin disorder known as epiderma... Epidermolytic hyperkeratosis. Right. Apparently, he filed his teeth to razor points, went on a killing spree. And get this, that fear of his Crane was working on averting? Bats. Toxin. You still seeing things? Definitely. 